Monday. Manny burnt down the house after Dad had enough of his BS and threw away Tangy. We had to move into Rowley's house for a bit while Dad tried to look for a new house. Now I have to deal with his fat ass all day. After two weeks, Dad has found us a new home, but he didn't tell us until this morning when it was all completed. We're moving to Memphis. Well, turns out we're moving to Memphis, Tennessee. I sure as hell am not happy about this, but Roderick is because he knows he thinks that hood bitches are hot as hell. I know for a fact I'm going to get my ass shot by some gang or something. Hopefully this won't be the worst time I ever had. Tuesday. We had to pack all the essentials for our trip to Memphis, which means that I couldn't bring Twisted Wizard and Roderick couldn't bring his, bring his drum set. So you can imagine he was really pissed off, but he sold it to the neighbors and got 10 bucks, so that cheered him up. We got into the car, and everybody was pretty bummed out, especially Mom and Dad, who had to plan everything out. Roderick, on the other hand, was pretty happy to move. I want to f*** some bitches. Amen, Roderick. One week later. I haven't had time to write in this because of the moving, but now we're pretty much done with it. Roderick has already found himself a girlfriend, and I have in fact found myself a homie, which is good because it raises my respect. Sup, cuz? His name is Jamal. He's cool to tell, and he's an OG crip from the hood. Me and him have a lot of the same interests as well, and we both mutually gain from each other since he's a crip and I got my family protection. I went over to his crib today, and he, he in the trenches. For dinner, we had a slice of Little Caesar pizza and Dasani water, so we kind of broke, but I saw the knock on his dresser, so I know he doesn't f*** around. Oh, I guess that means Glock. He said, I, I don't know, I'm not, a, I'm, not a, I'm, not a, I'm not in the hood, so I, I don't know. Friday. Me and Jamal were chilling at the function when the plug named Sneaky Jim rolled up and said that would be a good crib. It took me into Jamal's shitty ass room and handed me a paper. It was an application to be a crib, but I needed to prove myself, so I had to assassinate a drug supplier for the Bloods. And guess who it was? It was Rowley. That little f***er and his family is on vacation in Nashville, which isn't too far away. So I hopped in Roderick's whip and went to his vacation house. Hands up, mother <laughs> Rally, yeah, he's it's over for Rally. He repping, he got the Supreme on, he got the blood bandana. That's hype. Saturday, I wasted that motherfucker Rally, and now I'm a proper crip. And Jamal and Sneaky Jim want me to go on a drug run all the way out in St. Louis. Apparently, I got a 20% cut from it, which means I get the new Twisted Wizard game, which means I'm pretty much on that grind now. We arrived at this really sketchy area, but we had three guys and three guns, so we knew we were covered. We gave the guy the product and Sneaky Jim wanted to count it inside the building. So he went inside and something crazy happened. Pop, pop. Sneaky Jim shot Jamal. What the hell? I ran in away and he, and I ran away and hid. He couldn't locate me. So he drove off leaving me at this shitty ass gas station in the middle of nowhere. Some dumbass left their car unlocked. So I stole that shit and decided to go to the nearest hotel to try and book a room. Because now he's probably on the hunt for me. Luckily, in case he does locate me, I have the strap, so we good. I found a shitty motel and booked out a room. Now I need to analyze my situation to try and get out of this. Not an idea in the world on what to do. Might as well just browse my phone right now, waiting for something to happen. I can't even go back to Memphis because Sneaky Jim is after me. Sneaky Jim is the ultimate op. I swear to God, once this shit's over, I'm popping that MF. I knew from the minute I saw that fat ass, he would backstab me. Also tell me it's not sketchy as hell that he's always in that same pose. The next day. Well, after chilling a while in my room, I decided to go to sleep, and I just woke up. Guess who I got a text from? Hey Greg, I'm in town, do you want to maybe hook up? Hell yeah, be there in an hour or two. Holly Hills wants to hook up. I knew my gang too would attract her. Best part is, where she's staying, it's only about an hour away soon. I'ma clap that. I honestly couldn't give two shits about Sneaky Jim getting, I'm getting the girl of my life, and honestly, if it's a trap, it's worth it. Well, I'm on the way to where she's staying, and I swear it's going to be crazy like Jay-Z. I'm shaking. I'm so excited, bro. Well, I pull up to her place, and now I'm going to go quiet for a bit. I write down everything that happens when I'm done. Well, I'm back, about two weeks later in the state prison, and let me tell you, I wasn't expecting this shit. So, number one, when I walked in, I see Holly Hills with Sneaky Jim, and I already know blood wanted to pop my ass, but luckily I had the strap, so I had protection. Anyways, he pulls it on me, and we were both at a standstill. So there we were, at a standstill, until I took the, sh I took the shot, and then all hell broke loose. But apparently my retarded ass couldn't f shoot for shit, and missed my half, fuck my half my fucking shots. 
I did get him in the shoulder, though, but he got me a couple times, and I fell unconscious. So I wake up, and I'm on the floor with everybody looking at me. Turns out, Holly, Sneaky Jim, and Fragly were a part of this. And to my surprise, guess who comes walking out? Hello, Bubby. It's Manny that's responsible for all this. He's the reason Jamal said that I'm on my deathbed. And why I asked this little pest why it's because why is because nobody ever taught him how to tie his shoes. Anyways, after that bombshell, Manny is the reason that my best friend died. You went on a tangent about how all his friends can't tie their shoes and he can can tie their shoes and he can't. When I told him it wasn't that deep, he started crying so hard. The police arrived and everyone except Fregley got arrested. And Manny is my cellmate, so you know I flushed him down the toilet. And that's the end. Hey, that was actually, that, I like that fanfiction a lot. See, I'm not about that life, so I'm not going to comment on this, actually. But, yeah, that was really cool. Anyway, make sure to like and subscribe.